On Wednesday the 3rd of July 2019 at Margam East Junction in South Wales, two track workers were struck and fatally injured by a train. A third track worker came very close to being struck and was very traumatised. The work they were doing that morning was on a set of points and they did not know that the task was unnecessary. They were using a noisy power tool and had become distracted at the time of the accident. The train driver sounded the horn and he also applied the emergency brake on the approach to the track workers. None of the track workers were aware until it was too late for them to move to a position of safety. Analysis by the Rail Accident Investigation Branch has shown that they would not have been able to hear the horn. The RAIB investigation found that the proposed system of work was not adopted by the group. The alternative safety arrangements became progressively less safe as the work continued that morning and this created conditions that made an accident much more likely. The RAIB identified several factors. The first factor was that over many years Network Rail had not adequately addressed protection of track workers from trains. Secondly, Network Rail had focused on technological solutions and new processes but had not adequately taken account of human and organisational factors that affect working practices on site. The third factor is that the full extent of non-compliances to procedures and unsafe working practices had not been identified and did not result in management actions to address them. The RAIB has made 11 recommendations following our investigation. Nine of these are addressed to Network Rail and these include improving safe planning processes, improving monitoring and supervision of staff, renewing focus on developing safety behaviours of its frontline staff who need to go on or near the track improving the quality of the information to senior management, improving its processes for assessing the impact of changes to working practices of its frontline staff, and finally establishing an independent expert safety group to improve track worker safety. There's a further recommendation directed towards network rail in consultation with the Department for Transport, the Office of Road and Rail and other railway stakeholders to investigate ways to optimise the balance between the need to operate train services and enabling safe track access for maintenance. The final recommendation is addressed to the Rail Delivery Group in consultation with Network Rail and RSSB and this is to research into the practicability of enabling train horns to automatically sound when a train driver activates the emergency brake. The loss of two railway colleagues in such tragic circumstances once again reinforces the need to find better ways to maintain our railways safely.